And so since we've been talking about um, means and standard deviations, it leads to the discussion of maxes and mins, specifically what we consider a usual max and min. And if you remember, back in chapter three, we talked about something called the empirical rule, which said if you go two standard deviations above and or below the average, then you've got 95% of your outcomes encompassed. And this only holds true for a bell-shaped curve, which we can discuss at a later time. But the definition for a usual minimum value based on this is to take the mean and go down by two standard deviations or the mean plus two standard deviations. But all these formulas are, are just the mean plus or minus, depending on whether you're going min or max, two standard deviations. And it could also be written in an interval format. So, you know, mu minus two sigma up to mu plus two sigma. So in words, it's just, you know, your usual min to your usual max, where whenever we talk about intervals, we always write the smaller number, comma, the bigger number, understanding that it's everything in between those. So if we are looking at a particular value and if it is exactly the same as our min or our max or somewhere in between our min or our max, we refer to that value as being a usual or common value. Otherwise, we refer to the value as unusual. So what we're going to do is use that formula above or both those formulas to decide whether certain values are usual or unusual. And we're going to get some really weird numbers and they're not going to make sense um, for whatever we're studying or because it's a discrete variable. But just like with averages, we're not going to change those values. We're going to go ahead and leave them because they give us more precise information about what we're looking at. So now let's do a little practice with the concept of usual and unusual values. So in problem A, we're asked, we're told that there's a usual max of the range 5 to 12. Um, are the following numbers listed as usual or unusual? So as we look at them, the number 7, would that be usual or unusual knowing that our range is 5 to 12? Well, I'm sure you got that one right, that it's usual. Seven is inside the range. So if the common numbers we use are five to 12, seven's one of our common numbers. How about two? Well, two is outside our range, so it's unusual. But what about five? Since five is one of the edge points, we actually talked about that on the prior slide, that if it's equal to the endpoints, then it's still considered usual. If five to 12 are acceptable numbers, then five is an acceptable number. Now let's look at example B. Would it be usual to have $10 in your pocket if the usual range is 15 to $45? Okay, so the question's asking if it's usual. It's not asking if 10 is usual or unusual. It's saying specifically, is $10 usual? So the first thing I need to decide, is it usual or unusual? And just looking at the 10 itself, it's outside the range. So it's unusual. Now I need to decide, is that the same as what was asked or is it the opposite? And because it's the opposite, I'm going to have to start with no. So if I were to give a worded answer as to whether 10 was a usual value, if 15 to 45 is my usual value, I would say no. It would not be usual to have $10 in my pocket since $10 is below my usual minimum of $15. So I just need to be clear that the $15 is outside the range, but I can do it by referencing the minimum value.